My son impacted people's lives and never wanted to do anybody any harm or anything. You just heard from the mother of 20-year-old Kenneth Sharp, who was shot and killed by a Richmond police officer on Easter. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. For the first time tonight, Sharp's family is sharing more about who Kenneth was, and we're seeing new video of what happened the day he died. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joining us live in Richmond tonight after speaking with that family. And Roland, what else did they have to say? Well, Eric Deanna, they say to know Kenneth is to love him. And right now they're hoping for justice as the investigation continues. Right now we are waiting to hear more, but at this point the investigation is ongoing. That was my only son. Like, that's my heart in human form. The hearts of Mother Latoya Hardney, friends and family of 20-year-old Kenneth Sharp, heavy tonight. Candles and flowers alongside messages reading Say His Name can be found at an apartment complex off Cedar Street in the Shaco Bottom area. It's where two police officers responded on Easter Sunday after receiving a disturbance call involving an armed person. I don't know if it's a car, I don't know what's going on, but I heard that he woke me up. Recently released body camera footage shows two officers arriving around 5 that morning to check out a silver Hyundai. While Officer 1 knocks on the passenger door, Officer 2, now identified as Todd Hall, is standing on the driver's side. Sharp is seen opening the passenger door with a large gun in hand. That's when both officers start running away, one yelling a half command before firing their gun. Put the gun this tragic scene leaving a family in tears and an investigation in the works. Once the Richmond Police Department completes a criminal review of that case, we will provide the entire file to the Richmond Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Richmond Commonwealth Attorney's Office will, will be, review that and determine the best course of action. While this family waits, they want the community to know the lovable and talkative person they say Kenneth was. No parent should ever have to go do anything like that. And like I said, I just want justice for him and justice for everybody else that is suffering and going through the same thing that I'm going through. Now, initially, both officers were pay placed rather on administrative leave with pay. Now, the officer that did not fire shots has returned to duty, but Hall has not. We'll make sure to keep you updated as we learn more. For now, live in Richmond, Roland Wilson, 8 News.